two, one, and all. We're all now together at last. My, my, my. Uh, let me just set up Facebook here for a moment. Uh, uh, set up your uh, desktop. Uh, we have. I have to add uh, eight here. Uh, let's see, we got you here. Yeah, you got the age and okay. Alrighty, I think we got you going on the same. Let's see. Okay, very good. Okay, we're in Exodus 21 today still. Uh, we're finishing up. And we'll start right off where we were last time. The last time we discovered the reasons, or the purpose of Sabbath. Uh, we see how God explains himself what the Sabbath means. Now he does that after declaring uh, the uh, Zakar, uh, Sabbat Yom, Kadash, of uh, Exodus 20. And after he positions the, the premise and the presentation of the Ten Commandments, the law, the granting of law to the people, then we see God handling certain issues through judgments. Now we also understood what are judgments. It's very important that we understand what the judgments are. And we studied that. We went to see what are judgments. And we then come to realize that judgments are required in law in order to learn uh, or to establish what the law really means, how it is applied. What is also revealed through judgments are the statutes upon which the judgments are based. Statutes are things that are permanent. These are permanent truths, permanent um, laws, instructions that are, you know, they're, they're not movable, they're not moved. And upon the statutes is where you have this basis of law. It is what law is, and other laws are built upon the statutes. And then upon all of those things, the statutes, the laws, the precepts, we have then judgments, judgments based on the application of these truths to life, to human life. God, as we see in, in the Bible, in the narrative, in, in la narración de la Biblia, de la Escritura, Dios no dio Todos los estatutos. God did not give all his statutes. God did not give all his precepts. All the precepts and all the statutes are not there. And especially not there now. In, in Exodus 21. They weren't there entirely for Exodus 20 either. Okay, so he gives us the Ten Commandments, and then and he positions everything. And then in Exodus 21, uh, he then gives us judgments where he's packing in all the other little incidental statutes and precepts that he did not give us before. 
And we saw the purpose of doing that. Vimos el, el propósito de Dios darnos los decretos. Para que por los decretos podríamos o podíamos descubrir, razonar cuáles son las leyes y las, los estatutos principalmente y los preceptos que forman el base de los decretos. So he gave us these things as a shortcut, as a way for man and particularly for Israel to gather up together to surmise to reason what the ba basal foundational statutes and precepts were or are because they're they're established they're not temporary upon which the judgments are based so that is the purpose of judgments. Judgments has a purpose. Judgments, uh, the judgments are a, a, a special part of law. And the judgments then do tell us that God is purposefully giving us study material. Absolutely. When, when the moment he said judgment, the moment que dijo Dios decreto, nos dio tarea, nos dio material para estudio, para razonar, para dialogar, para discusión. He gave us this material to discuss, to analyze, to study, to um, peruse, right, to reason with. And he gave it to us in the form of judgments. And that's what we're supposed to do with it. We're not just supposed to just, you know, what would most people read in, in Exodus 21? And how would you, uh, what would most people take it as? Most people would take it as law, right? Yes, law. Even though God is calling it something particular, we're still calling it law. It's like Torah. Everyone's taking Torah as law instead of what God meant it to be, which is what the word means itself. It's to instruction, to instruct. But again, the lazy mind, the lazy thinker, and the religious thinker will only look at it as God said this, and that's what we have to do. But the one who is hearing God when he said Torah, and the one that is hearing God when he said, these are my judgments, understands that what God is saying, Torah, he means this to be studied, to be analyzed, to be thought about, and then the judgments to also be investigated to find the basal, the foundational aspects to this. It's giving us to look for those things. Aquí, así que el, el que entiende, el legalista, uh, ve en la Torah y los diez mandamientos y lo que Dios dijo, todo como ley. Esto es la ley de Dios. Hay que obedecer la ley. En la mente religiosa hay que obedecer a Dios, hay que obedecer lo que Dios dijo. Pero el, al que entiende, oye Dios. Esa es la diferencia. El que tiene entendimiento, oye a Dios. Y, y fíjese que en Éxodo 19 dice, el que oye, el que oiga. <coughs> si me oyen. It's interesting also to know, I just said it in Spanish. And in Exodus 19, God specifically said, if, if, that you shall, he, if you hear me, see, it's not just listen to me. And even the word obey, obey comes from the root word that means to hear. 
In other words, in order to obey, you have to hear first. How can you obey something you haven't heard? But the, the problem is that the, the, the definition of hearing is not the same as listening. Although people use it interchangeably. You're wrong. And this is why you don't you read the Bible and you don't understand what it's telling you. You you take it the wrong way. Very little slight thing, but you know <laughs> the devil's good at that. Así que son cosas de, es muy pequeñita el diferencia entre oír en la Biblia y, y escuchar. Pero son los detalles así tan sencillos que el diablo se especializa. <laughs> Por eso están la gente leen la Biblia y no entienden. No entienden simplemente lo que Dios está diciendo. Cuando Dios dice oír, quiere decir que entiendas tú, entiende. No es escuchar. Cualquiera escuche. ¿Sí? Pero pocos son los que oyen. Los que oyen. Usted oye. ¿Sí? Hay, hay quienes van a oír la voz de Dios a través de esta enseñanza hoy. Pero la mayoría solo van a escucharme hablar. Eso es la diferencia. That's the difference. The difference is that uh, today some of you will hear God speaking to you through this uh, discussion today. But the majority of you will only listen to me teach today. That's the difference between listening and hearing. And the Bible pay, makes a very clear. You see, you have to be sensitive to the Word of God. When the Word of God makes a big deal about something, it's because it's a big deal. It's because God knew that later down, later down the road, You guys were not going, you guys were going to end up missing the boat, Noah's Ark, <laughs> and not understanding what he originally intended. So he put things in the Bible like, uh, let's see, Hebrews 11, right? He put, so that you understand what faith is, really, you see, and what really saved the people in the Old Testament, because it matters, you understand? Uh, he puts in hearing. He who has an ear, hear what the Spirit tells to the church. Because it was always an issue of hearing. He said, oh, Israel, hear me. Hear me is not listen to me. Hearing is a different thing. Exodus 19, hear. That you hear me. Right? And the other way of using that word here is to hearken unto my voice. Hearken. See? It's to understand me. Don't, don't just listen. Understand. You see? So that, that's little, little detail. So you have to understand. Now here, Exodus 21. These are my judgments. Judgments. This is a, these are my laws. See? Judgments. These are not just my sayings. Estos son mis decretos en el Éxodo 21. Estos son mis decretos. No dice, estos son mis palabras. Dile a Israel estas palabras. Son mis palabras. Entonces, but, you know, alguna gente, la, la Biblia debe ser más sencilla para ustedes. Porque solo necesitan decir, estos son mis palabras. Escuchar. Entonces, los diez mandamientos, la ley, ya, yo, es todo. Esto es mis palabras. Esto es mi ley. Punto. Ya, se terminó. I mean, why do we need more Bible? Just say, this is my words, this is my law, and that's it, period. See, I mean, you guys that are teaching Sabbath and law and all of that, you, you need to complain to the uh, complaint re review committee in heaven. You have to complain. You have to complain about this guy called uh, Jehovah, Yahweh. He's making things complicated. Why he just can't say law. This is my law, period. And that's it. And why, why call it Torah? You say law. This is law. That's it. Make it simple. Because that's the way they're taking it. Everything here is law. The, the God said it, do it. That's it, period. Do this. Period. Why so many words? Why? Why so much? Uh, judgments. Why? Why precepts? Why judge? Why statutes? Why? 
Just say law like they're teaching it. They're teaching it like that, aren't they? Están enseñando esto todo ley, porque Dios no hace ley, punto. Es que tiene el hombre que, 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 que arreglar esto al fin de cabo. <risa> sí, pero es, que, pero es que Dios sabe lo que está haciendo. Dios sabe lo que está haciendo. You know, God knows what he's doing, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, but, you know, he could have said law if it were. It simply isn't. It's more than that. These are his judgments. And judgments are what judgments are. And you need to look into them to, to discover the statutes and the precepts that God is wanting you to understand because this is an issue of understanding. And he does this, he does, does it on purpose. Why? For the reasons described in detail in Exodus 20, which most people don't get. It's another, you know, you just don't get it. Why? Because Exodus 1 and 2. That's why. Exodus 1 and 2. I mean, in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 and 2. That, that's the reason that God has to, has to do it this way. They still took it the wrong way, but no one can blame him. He 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 made it and said he explained it. He said it. He's not God's fault that people don't understand that people want to turn everything into a religion. That's not God's fault. This is the problem of mankind. This is part of the issue called sin. Este es el problema, parte del problema llamado pecado. Sencillamente. Part of the issue called sin. A, a, an issue that Jesus Christ, that God remedied through Jesus Christ. Of course, most of you are degrading Jesus. La mayoría degradan a Jesús. Because he just doesn't square with uh, your envisionment of what the law is. Especially when they say that uh, the law was, uh, was nailed to the cross. Now, now you have to say which part of the law. Because it, it couldn't be all the law. Now there's parts of the law. Well, why, why don't you consider the judgments? <laughs> We're willing to cut the law into pieces. So that some of it can get crucified with Christ. But the other can remain. But we're not willing to uh, divvy up the word of God, the judgment, so that we can understand what the statutes are. We're not willing to do that. Oh, these are the law. This is the law of God. <laughs> but then there's a difference when uh, we go to the cross, right? Because you got a problem there, don't you? Yet you see how the apostles dealt with it. You know, they simply say, that the law was nailed to the cross. <laughs> That's it. it was simple. It was simple for Paul. It wasn't a big deal. <laughs> but but you got to you have to make it now complicated yourself to accommodate your religious belief. Usted tiene que hacerlo más complicado ahora para acomodar su creencia religiosa. Pablo no tuvo problema. Dijo la ley. Fue crucificado en la cruz. Eso que dijo. Él no, él no vio una ley separada, eh, hubiera dicho, ¿por qué no dijo la ley, cómo se llama, ceremonial? ¿Por qué, por qué él no dijo eso? La ley ceremonial. Y el que dice que sí lo dijo, es decir, la ley expresada en ceremonia, eh, los ceremonias eran expresión de toda la ley. Era lo, practic lo practicado, la obediencia a toda la ley, era, era la manifestación, estaba en la fiesta y en, lo, en la ceremonia, en todo eso. eso pero ustedes crean, crean un término que ni el apóstol usó y nadie usó, Jesús no lo usó. So, you see, they make accommodations 
by creating terms now that apostle, apostle Paul never used, none of the apostles are used, none of the disciples used, Jesus never used it. Right? But not but you guys use it to try to fix what Paul said in plain language. That's it. The law, Jesus Christ was nailed on the cross and with him the law. The law. He didn't say the ceremonial law. <laughs> So that's the problem you guys have. You guys have a big problem, big issue. And the, and the reason is simple. It's not because uh, you're you you're not you're 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 not um, doing as God said. That's not the issue. You know, God said, look, He said, do this, do that. The issue is that you're not hearing. That was one of the main requirements. Exodus 19, really, hear hear. But that's what you're not doing. So everything else you're doing, you think you're doing the right thing, but you're not because you haven't heard him. You have to hear. See, it's not, it's not just this. It's here. You have to understand how the Bible is speaking. This is hearing. Listening is this. Hey, listen. 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 But that doesn't mean you know what's, what, what sounds you, you are listening to. You're, that you're identifying, that your mind is co is cognition of the sound. See, that's hearing. So not everyone that listen hears. So no todo el mundo que hay una diferencia entre eh, oír y escuchar. Y no todo el mundo que escucha oye. Que oye quiere decir que uno reconoce lo que se está escuchando. Que, que uno está procesando en, en la mente, en el cerebro, lo que se escucha. Eso es oír. Y eso es lo que en Éxodo 19, Dios dice que hay que hacer. La confusión es que la mayoría de personas están haciendo la ley el sábado porque escuchan. Porque Dios dijo, escucha. Haga esto, haga el otro, haga así. Recuerde si sí, es algo. Están, están escuchando. Pero no entienden. No están entendiendo lo que Dios quiere decir. Con recuerda el día sábado. El día sábado. No los sábados. ¿Sí? No están oyendo. Entonces, como todos los demás en su grupo, en su club, también tienen la misma deficiencia, pues entonces creen que lo que ellos están escuchando es correcto. Ninguno están oyendo. And, y ese es el problema número uno. So, entonces, ellos creen, la persona que está así, cree que están bien, porque mira, Dios lo dice, mira, de aquí lo dice. Dios lo dijo. ¿Sí? No es, el problema no es lo que Dios dijo. Es lo que tú estás entendiendo. Otra palabra, lo que tú oyes. Si es que está oyendo o no. Eso es la diferencia. No lo que Dios dijo. Lo que Dios dijo está bien. It's not what God said. It's what you hear. What you hear. Or not. That is the question. Hey, new, new Shakespeare here. Biblical Shakespeare. To hear or not to hear? That is the question. <laughs> this is the problem, too. <laughs> uh, oír o no oír? Esa es la pregunta y es el problema. Okay, so eso es lo que hay aquí. All right. So these are the realities that are happening. And these are the things that we have to understand. Good. So let's get into this uh, today. Um, we were talking about the Shabbat, Yom, the freedom of man. That is the teaching of Shabbat. La enseñanza del sábado es la liberación del hombre. Ese es el propósito del el día sábado. Cuando ustedes oyen a alguien hablar del sábado, ustedes tienen que a saber que, están, que deben estar hablando del único día sábado que hay. Y el único día sábado es Génesis capítulo 2, 
verso 2 y 3. Es el único día sábado. So whenever someone is talking about the Sabbath day, because the Bible says the Shabbat day, the Sabbath day, you need to understand the here that when God said the Shabbat day, uh, um, and he says it at uh, the Shabbat Yom, it is only one Shabbat Yom. And that Shabbat Yom is found in Genesis chapter 2, verses 2 and 3. And then notice who Shabbat it. And notice too who can only Shabbat. Because that is the key thing about Genesis chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. That's the key point there. Si uno estudia Génesis capítulo 2, verso 2 a 3, usted verá que es el día sábado. Usted verá quién fue que, eh, que observó que hizo el sábado. Y quién puede hacer el sábado. Es muy, esto es muy claro. La Biblia es muy claro. See, the Bible is very clear. You guys think that God is stupid. I'm sorry. Ustedes creen que Dios es estúpido. No. Me perdonan, pero no. Estúpido eres tú, no Dios. Ok. Porque si Dios quisiera que todo el mundo estuviera es en sábado, hubiera especificado él o Moisés. Uno de los dos. Porque Moisés, hombre, podría haber también corregido a Dios. Y añadido el detalle de que Adán con Dios hicieron el sábado. Adán y Dios reposaron el día sábado. Es una, una línea muy sencillo, muy básico. Yo creo hasta en el hebreo muy básico para incluir un niño quizás. Podía haber ayudado a Jehová o a Moisés a poner, pon allí que nosotros también descansamos. Así que eh, entonces eh, eso sería muy fácil. You know, it would have been easy. Even a child could have been used by God to remind him, Yahweh, and to remind Moses even. You know what? You, you need to add in that Adam and God rested on the Shabbat day. A little detail like that would have gone a long way. <laughs> but we see that both Yahweh and both, uh, both Yahweh and Moses, Moshe, Yahweh, Jehovah, they what well, you know if if the sabbath keeper is right today if the jew is correct 100% then both of you and anyone else who is defending or promoting shabbat and uh, following the law both of you all, all of you all together should consider that god forgot that you might come out and say it already. You come out and admit it. You, your God forgot who that is because it's not the God I serve. The God I serve does not have Alzheimer. El Dios que yo alabo, que yo sirvo, el que me salvo, no tiene Alzheimer. No, no sufre de olvidar detalles importantes. See, so it's a little detail there. The Shabbat, and it says why the Shabbat was. I'm not going to go there now because we we did it so very well in the past teachings when we were doing in Genesis. Nosotros cubrimos este tema muy fuertemente y claramente cuando estuvimos en Genesis. No voy a enseñarle ese verso, pero leer, abre su Biblia, go in your Bible, and see. No dice que Adán hizo Shabbat. It doesn't say that Adam Shabbat it. 
And when you read what the Shabbat is, how can Adam, Adam Shabbat? How can any man Shabbat? This is the question. How can you Shabbat? ¿Cómo puede cualquier hombre? Lee bien Génesis capítulo 2, verso 2 a 3. Y dime tú, ¿cómo puede un hombre hacer el Shabbat? ¿Cómo? Es imposible. It is impossible for a man to Shabbat. That's why God, God sp spoke exactly and precisely. Dios habló exactamente y precisamente. Y dijo, recuerde, recuerde, Zakar, recuerde. Remember, he spoke precisely. Remember, Zakar, remember Shabbat. Recuerde el Shabbat, Zakar, Shabbat Yom. Remember the Sabbath day. That's why I like the King James, because it's not the, it's the. Shabbat day. V. El. El. Día sal. El. No los días. El día. Recuerde. So you see what man is supposed to do. Is not Shabbat. Because we can never Shabbat. Nosotros no podemos Shabbat. Tampoco Dios dijo que tuviéramos que Shabbat. Teníamos que recordar. <laughs> you see, and, 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 and in the traditional human way, we created this thing that that is Shabbat. No, it is a remembrance of. And that's what you have to understand. People are not understanding. Esto es recordando. Es un recuerdo. El Shabbat. El Shabbat es un recuerdo. Del Shabbat. Que solamente Dios hizo y pudo hacer. Es una obra de Dios. El Shabbat. The Shabbat is a, is a, a thing that only God can do. That only God did. It is a it is a thing of God, a, a time period that God did Himself without any human interaction. There was no human interaction. The only human interaction was what? What was the human interaction that day? ¿Cuál fue la única? El día Shabbat fue hecho sin la sin la participación del hombre. ¿Cuál fue la única cosa? Que el hombre tuvo conexión con el día del sábado. Dime tú. Porque descansar no era. It was, you know, the, there's only one interaction that God set in stone for the Sabbath day for man. There was only one thing. And rest, it wasn't. It wasn't rest. What was it? <laughs> Yeah, and you guys got to understand why God did it when he did it. And why God made man right before it. ¿Por qué Dios hizo, uh, lo hizo cuando lo hizo? ¿Y, ¿Y por qué Dios hizo al hombre antes de ello? Antes de ella, inmediatamente. The only thing that God did, uh, the, uh, sorry, the only thing that, that man did, in God's Shabbat was live. <laughs> he was living and free. Lo único que el hombre hizo durante el Shabbat de Dios era vivir y estaba en libertad, libre, no había pecado, estaba en su condición perfecta. Es lo único. He was a prop. El hombre era una, ¿cómo se llama eso? Cuando eh, ustedes hacen un escenario para una película, una drama, 
y usted tiene ahí la botella y la mesa hay un nombre en inglés, lo llaman props son cosas que uno pone en el escenario para ayudar a la gente a imaginar lo que es y Dios hizo eso era el único papel de Adán Adán estaba allí mientras que Dios estaba haciendo lo de él el Shabbat you know man was there he's a prop he's part of the teaching el hombre es parte de la enseñanza pero esa enseñanza no era descanso porque el hombre nació un par de horas antes ¿qué descanso va a tener él? ¿y de qué trabajo va a descansar? Es ridículo, oh my goodness, ridículo. You know, it's ridiculous notion to think that Adam rested. From what? From opening his eyes and saying, I'm alive. God created me. Oh, I need some rest. Oh. It's ridiculous, ridiculous. I know you don't like to look at yourself in the mirror and see a fool, but you know what? If you insist... Si usted, yo sé que a usted no le gusta mirar un espejo y ver un insensato ahí, admitirlo, pero si insistes. No oyen, no oyen. And all of this because you don't hear, you don't hear. You read, but you don't hear. Because you're listening to what others are saying. That it means, instead of hearing. What God is saying. No hay un gran falta de entendimiento. I'm sorry. But I've been dealing with a lot of the law key. I'm not impressed. Simply not impressed. I've never met anyone who follows the law that impressed me. I'm sorry. No hay ninguno que sigue la ley en estos días que me ha impresionado de ninguna forma. So, let's go on to what God is teaching. For those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit tells us to the church, okay? Because everyone else, you just do what you want to do, all right? So, that's that. So, God says clearly in uh, Exodus 21, uh, and uh, the uh, first judgment... Um, he's setting free man from his slavery on the Shabbat, the Yom, the time period, the seventh time period. And then obviously if he's free, and then the question is comes. See, this is the question that comes. Right? That, you know what it is. So what happens in the next Shabbat Yom? <laughs> you see? That's what you guys got to understand. They're not understanding. And it's here as clear as day. What more can you, what more do you want? This guy can only Shabbat that one time. That's it. Because once he's out, free, he's free. The statute of Shabbat no longer applies. La, este hombre que fue soltado en el año Shabbat, pues ya es libre. ¿Qué va a suceder en, en el próximo año Shabbat? Nada, porque no, no aplica a él la, la ley de Shabbat. El estatuto de Shabbat ya no le aplique. So, él no puede seguir en el sábado. See? Now, if you're teaching Sabbath, that the Sabbath is something that has to be done, and every man has to do the, the Sabbath, do the Sabbath, right? This that that contradicts this judgment, but remember what judgments are. See, that's where the problem is with that your thinking, that type of thinking. Remember what judgments are. Recuerde lo que son los decretos. Los decretos son basados sobre los preceptos y los estatutos, lo establecido de Dios. Si esto es un decreto. Porque entonces si Dios se olvidó en Génesis 2 y Dios se olvida de, de, de entre Génesis 2 y Éxodo 16 de mencionar el sábado, entonces pues, vamos a hablar. <laughs> you know, maybe God forgot here. 
Maybe he made a mistake. It can, you see, that's what you guys make your God look like. I'm so angry with you. I'm angry with the Jew. I'm very personally pissed off with the Jew. And I'm pissed off with the Sabbath keep. I really am. I'm disappointed in all of you. I'm disappointed in all of you because you don't hear yourselves. I hear. Okay, you're just busy listening and talking and repeating what you hear like a parrot. But you don't hear because what, you, what you're what you saying is that God has a problem. God is forgetful and God is, um, is, is, is too dumb to uh, keep it straight, keep the story straight. Because right here, the judgment here on the Sabbath that's based on statute is teaching something opposite than what you guys are teaching. I mean, and you guys are right. You guys are the right ones, aren't you? You know you're right. You're following what God says. There's something wrong. There's something wrong here with the Bible. There's something wrong here with Yahweh. He's forgetting. Moses, come on, man. Get with it. You, you, what happened? This is all, all Simon's going all around the place here. Maybe that's the sign of divinity. Oh, Santo. Oh, oh Lord. Hallelujah. Baby. You hear it now. You, you hear it here. Oh, Santo. We have to have the church of all Simon. That is it. That's the truth. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, by the way. Why would I mention such a thing at this moment? I forgot. <laughs> He's a holy man there you're looking at. He's a holy man. He's forgetful. Holy cow. Santos el Señor. Alaba tu Dios. ¿Por qué se me olvida? No sé. Santos el Señor. Oh, Lord have mercy. Y estoy... Oh my God, yo estoy tan, tan como decir, frustrado, no. Pero estoy enojado en una forma santa. <risa> Con los que profesan ser de la ley. Y de guardar el sábado y hacen tantas cosas. Pero no están realizando. Que lo que están diciendo entonces. Es que Dios es olvidadizo. Dios tiene Alzheimer. Se olvida la cosa. Él y Moisés. Tiene que ser es un señal de, de lo divino. De los santos. Estos son hombres santos. Se olvidan las cosas. Hay santos. Hay que ser una iglesia de, de los que se olvidan. Los, los viejos olvidadizos. Esos son los santos. Esos son los eruditos de estos tiempos. Los, los espirituales. Se olvidan de las cosas. Santo es el Señor. Porque Dios ni, ni menciona el sábado desde Génesis 2 hasta Éxodo 16. Se olvidó del sábado todo el mundo. Nadie menciona el sábado. Es eso es lo santo. Eso es santidad. Esto es tan santo que no se ni menciona. Ay, santo, aleluya. ¡Uh! Ah, vea, hay que ser una nueva iglesia de Alceima. Oh, santo, esa es la nueva santidad. ¡Gloria! ¡Aleluya! ¡Aleluya! ¿Por qué está alabando el Señor? ¡Se me olvidó! <risa> ¡Santo! No se saben cómo mencionar el nombre de Dios. ¡Ay, santo! ¡Lo santo! ¡Aleluya! ¡This is crazy, man! Esto está lunático ahora. <risa> Pero eso es lo que están haciendo de Dios, pobre. ¡Ay, Señor! ¡Ten misericordia! Lord, have mercy on all of us. Souls, Lord, have mercy. He did. I, I'm just saying, I, that's a critique. Now when we say, Lord, have mercy, it's not about God. It's not about the Lord. It's about the critique of man. What are we doing? Lo que estamos haciendo con la cosa de Dios. It's horrible. It's horrid. Lo que ta, nosotros estamos haciendo en nombre de qué? De la religión. En nombre de Dios. Oh, my. Santo es el Señor. I would say, Dios perdónalo porque no sabe lo que hace, pero Jesus beat me to it. <laughs> Hubiera dicho que el Señor, pero a Dios Padre, perdónalo porque no sabe lo que hace, pero ya Jesús lo dijo. <laughs> you know, he know how to say the things he had to say, right? 
Así vemos que Jesús dijo lo que se tenía que decir, ¿viste? Fíjase, fíjase, no saben lo que están haciendo. And you think he was just talking about the cross there? <laughs> ¿Y crees tú que Jesús solo estaba hablando de la cruz allí? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So, again, you have to check your thinking through the whole thing. Reason it through. The Sabbath, the, the, the teaching of the Sabbath that you guys have, that understanding that you are doing Sabbath is totally wrong. Eh? La idea que uno está haciendo el sábado es completamente errada porque es contradictoria al, al estatuto del sábado que se describa, que se revela en Éxodo 21 y los primeros versos, el verso, um, exactamente, el verso 2. Do, el verso 2 del eh, capítulo 21 enseña explícitamente que el sábado es para liberación del hombre y después de liberación ya no, ya no aplica el estatuto del sábado, punto. Lo, de, lo que ustedes están haciendo, lo que la ley exige es recordar. Y eso es la diferencia. Y no vamos a hablar de lo que es Kadash. Ahora Kadash, porque también eso está, tra 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 está trastornado. Ok, los que han estudiado con nosotros ya saben lo que quiere decir eh, Kadash. Santo, lo que es santo. No vamos a entrar a eso ahora porque eso ya se explicó muchas veces y se va a explicar muchas veces más, pero hoy no se va a decir más de eso. Ok, estudian bien lo que quiere decir Kadosh. Recuerden de la perspectiva del hombre y la perspectiva de Dios. Éxodo 20 te enseña muy claramente. Alrighty. So that is clear. Now let's go to the others. If come by himself, the other thing about the property we discussed already, la propiedad, uh, como el hombre entra, así sale. We talked a lot of things last time, right? And his master gave him the wife, de, de, de lo que el dueño da para que tú trabajes. Todo eso se explicó la semana pasada. Wonderful statutes. Wonderful teaching of God. Esto se explicó la semana pasada. Mi, eh, si no recuerdo bien. Ay, la santidad es demasiado, ¿verdad? <risa> Así que, eh, pero usted sabe que, recuerden que se habló mucho de estas cosas. Muy buena enseñanza hasta ahorita. Statute ownership of uh, value remains with the grantor. The work product by the slave during ownership period belongs to the owner. This is the thing. Because many of us go to work and we're not realizing something. That when you're working for someone, the things that are given to you are still the owner's, uh, still part of the owner's property. They're not your property. And the things, the things you do with it, the work that you use it for and use it with, That, that belongs to the owner. You're not you. If you make any gain at all, then you are. Uh, that is due to the owner. That's not to stay with you. You need to give that to the owner. That belongs to the owner, and it's up to the owner to grant it to you, or to make a make some arrangement with you, saying, "Okay, well, give me half, or give me a quarter, or whatever the owner wants." Because you know what. He's supposed to get it all. Está supuesto recibirlo todo. Porque eso es de él. Completamente y totalmente. So that we also understood. So you guys, again, and this applies to Christians. What I'm talking about is not just for people who are in, well, these are statutes of God. They apply all across the board. They apply all across the board. It's just that, you see, these are the things that the Jew and the Israelites are supposed to be teaching as priests. Exodus 19, hint. Y como Éxodo 19, esto son las enseñanzas que los israelitas están supuestos a enseñar a todo el mundo. Como dices, como sacerdotes. 
así como dice Éxodo 19, se declare. Pero como están eh, errada en los religiosos, porque hicieron religión de esto, no oyeron a Dios, sino escucharon a Dios. Entonces, eso es lo que pasa, no se nos están enseñando lo correcto, están enseñando la, lo errado. Y ese es el problema. So, uh, so, but that's good, because uh, that gave us the opportunity, gave me the opportunity. Amen, praise God. Entonces, eso es bueno para mí, porque nos dio a nosotros esa oportunidad y ese papel. Y ellos pueden seguir con su error, nunca van a ser los sacerdotes de, de, del mundo, pero nosotros sí. And that's it, that's good. That's it. Yo dije a alguien otro día, sigue así, sigue así, porque mientras que tú sigas así, yo, yo tengo lo, que, lo mío. That's right, porque usted hasta que no reclaman su sacerdocio en el mundo, no lo van a tener, punto, ese es mi papel. Porque ustedes no, no se están dando de cuenta de lo que Dios dijo. No oye. Solo están escuchando. <laughs> and say, and so that is uh, what it is. And like they said, it is what it is. Eh, lo que, all right. So, and if the servants shall plainly say, I love my master. Now, eh, vamos a hablar de una nueva cosa. If the servants shall plainly say, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Then that is the statute of love. Estatuto de amor. Cuando el siervo dice, yo amo a mi, a mi amo, a mi señor, mi esposa, mis hijos, no iré libre. No me iré libre. So then the love overrides all other considerations and statutes. Even the Shabbat is abrogated at this point. You see that even the Shabbat, which is supposed intended to free this man, is only abrogated. Through love. Love always abrogates all things. Love is the, the thing that breaks all chains. El amor es lo que, es lo que rompe toda cadena, todas las estatutos. El amor sobre todas las cosas. Because there's no law against love. You understand? Love is like the supreme freedom from law, period. And you're not in If you stay in, in, in this situation, this servant, is he really enslaved? See, that's what this is the point. This is the point. And this is where a lot of the people get confused. They're mixing things up together because a lot of the Sabbath keepers would say, because out of love, they put out of love to Yahweh. Que ellos dicen que lo hacen por amor a Jehová. Eso es lo que dicen. ¿Me acuerdo? Están diciendo lo que oyen los maestros de ellos hablar. Pero la, la pregunta es si lo están en verdad haciendo por aquí. And what, and remember, it is not, this man is not staying just because of the owner. And it doesn't stipulate that. See, he's, it, it can't be that he Just because of the owner wants to stay. Just because of his master, he wants to stay. Right? It's it's the master has given him all these things. And he chooses all of, to stay with all of these things than to uh, than to be free, to be free from being a servant. See? So, I love my master, my wife, and my children. So, in consideration of all the things, then he submits to being a, a slave to his owner in human stance, in the human regard. So, the question becomes, 
Is this man really still a slave? Is he a slave? For human purposes, he is a slave. En términos de que los seres humanos, de nosotros, humanamente hablando, él sigue siendo un esclavo. Pero en términos de Dios, but in terms of God, he is not a slave. Él no es un esclavo. Not, not, not a slave that, because if he stays a slave, then in the next seventh year, he can go free. Right? But this, but you see that this is not what's going to happen to him, because he's really no longer a slave. He simply decides to stay uh, in his master's employ because, and what is the reason? Now notice what the reason is. The reason that he chooses to stay in his master's employ is not really because he loves his master and all that. That is the reason that he would have, but why does he have to make that choice? This is why you have to, uh, you have to look at this carefully. ¿Por qué tiene que él hacer este tipo de decisión? Si él ama a su esposa y sus hijos, ¿por qué no puede salir con ellos? ¿Por qué tiene que hacer esta decisión así? Because these belong to the master. Porque esto pertenece al maestro, al, 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 al señor, al dueño. La esposa no es de él. Los hijos no es de él. Son, el dueño eh, es dueño de ellos ellos son propiedad del dueño so in, in, in life, the only way that he is able to redeem them because they would have to be redeemed is that he purchased them from the old so la única manera que este hombre puede salir con toda su familia es que si él lo compra de, 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 del dueño porque el dueño eh, al dueño le pertenece todo esto. So there we see that his love confines him. Now the the uh, the question though is is he is this the best state? Is this the best state for him to be? When God provided, notice who provided his freedom. And is this the best state? You, there's two ways that you can look at this. You can look at it in a positive framework. Usted puede mirar esto en un modo positivo. O lo puede mirar en un modo negativo. Positively or in a negative view. Was it a good thing, even for love, that he stay a slave? Even after God provided for his freedom. Because the freedom is provided by God. The only thing the man is giving him is, is slavery. That's it. Man is not setting him free. Uh, the only freedom had from man is because God said to set him free. So the provision by God is freedom. But yet the, the free will of man, you decide. If you're going to go free or you're going to stay. In this state, because he's taking a state. But because he loves, he said, if the man say he loves his master, he loves his wife, he loves his children, I will not go free. So then God says, then that's be, let that be. So the, the way I look at it is that this is just free will. God is always, in other words, getting free is up to you. God provided the freedom. Do you want it or you don't? That's what I see here. Esto es lo que yo veo aquí, que Dios proveyó la salvación, el rescate. ¿Quieres estar libre o no quieres estar libre? Tú por amor, por lo que quieres, porque, por cama, por niño, por familia, tú quieres seguir en, en esa vida de esclavitud. Esa es tu decisión. Pero de Dios, Dios dio libertad. Dios proveyó libertad. Esto es la manera que yo lo veo. 
uno puede decir, pues, es que es como dijiste, el, está, el estatuto de amor. El amor es lindo, el amor es bello. Qué lindo, qué bello. Pues el amor, pues, abroga cualquier, toda ley. Right? So, you say that, pero no, no justifica. It's from that love does not justify. That's the only, the only thing. It would be nice, wouldn't it? If love would justify everything. Oh, I did it out of love, so that, that, that's okay. And we know that that's not what the Bible teaches. See, we have to test. Hay que probar las cosas. El amor no justifica a una persona. Vamos a lo que enseña la Biblia. Adán, ¿por qué comió del, del, del árbol? Del conocimiento de bien y de mal. Why did Adam eat the, from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? Look at that. See? You have to look at that. What was his reason? The Bible doesn't go into his reason. But it, it does. It doesn't go into his reason because it's already stated. It did. See? Because it, it, Eve was his flesh and blood. He already said, this is my flesh. This is the bone of my bone. This is blood of my bone. This is, this is flesh of my flesh. Um, and she shall be called woman. See? She came out for me. So that is love. That, in other words, that's the that was that's the original and basis for love. Was that? So you can't say anything. Adam and Eve were in love. That they were in the purest love possible, being themselves themselves. They, they knew each one that they belonged to the other. You cannot get more than that. You understand? Uh, so they were in love. El, 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 el par edénico estaban en amor, puro amor, porque sabían cada uno que venían del otro. Que y Eva cuando miraba a Adán veía su origen. No eso, mi carne y mi hueso vinieron de ese hombre. Y cuando Adán me, me veía a Eva, dice: Este es de mi carne, este es de mi hueso, esta mujer. You know, ella, ella soy yo, la parte que me quitaron, ella lo tiene, quédate aquí conmigo, mira. Eso es amor puro, no puede no más grande amor que lo que ellos tuviesen. Y entiende que cuando dijo eso, más grande amor nadie tiene que el que qué. Entiende, entienda. You know, there's, even Jesus uh, said that there's no greater love than what? Than when a man does what? You have to understand the things of God. What well, what did you expect Adam to do? Adam knew that when Eve took of that fruit, that she shall surely die. Eh, Adam sabía que cuando Eva tomó de esa fruta, que ella de cierto, de cierto moriría. Él lo sabía. Habla bien, mijo. Piensa. Piensa. Ahora tú sabes por qué comió Adán. Now you know why Adam took the fruit after she took it. You know it. And if you don't know, you don't know what love is, baby. I'm sorry. Pero tú no entiendes el amor si tú no entiendes por qué Adán tomó del fruto. Por qué Adán tomó del fruto. Tú no entiendes el amor si no entiendes eso. So that's it. Now everybody's going to start saying, oh yeah, I, I know I am. Yeah, but before you heard it here, you didn't know. You have no idea. Yes. <laughs> Hasta que no ente, no oyeron ahora. Ahora oyeron. No sabían eso. So the Bible does say why. And Jesus clarifies it later on. Not not concerning just Adam, but all mankind in, in any case. And now we see it here, how it applies. See, Adam, was Adam's love for Eve justified? Did that justify him in the eyes of God? El amor que tu Adam para Eva lo justificó ante los ojos de Dios? And the answer is no. No, de ninguna manera. Pero es asqueroso. You know, nadie criticó. Véase que Dios no criticó a Adán. 
You'll notice that God did not criticize Adam. He said, you know, he didn't criticize Adam for doing what he did. He knew he would do that. God know that. You loved her. You had no choice. Yo sabía que era porque Adán comió. Él no tenía eh, alternativo. Dios creó eso de amor. Eso no, no, no iba a haber ninguna manera que Adán hiciera otra cosa. No iba a haber otro modo. There's no other way. People imagine it's bad. You don't understand what love is. Not real love. So it didn't justify Adam, and it doesn't justify this man. And that's why he stays in the slavery, because of love. Ahora, por, por el amor que tiene, pues se mantiene en esclavitud. Right? So this is away because we're using the Bible to establish the precepts and when you understand the pre ideas the ideas at the beginning then you can understand what this is meaning this man is choosing to stay in his state it's the only way uh, the only way he stays in his state, state and this reason is out of love but love does not justify him because if it justified you and him, he would be free anyway. Because if the love justified him, then he would say, and the owner, recognizing his love for his woman and his child, shall give them up to him and let them all go free. But it doesn't say that. Because that is not what this is about. You see later, salvation is individual. Uh, vemos, eh, si esto hubiera sido como decir cristiano, pues entonces eh, hubiera dicho ahora y el hombre el dueño mirando, viendo que aman tanto y rec reconociendo el amor que tiene, pues dejaría libre a toda la familia. Eso sería bueno, ¿verdad? Pero eso no es lo que dice. No es lo que está enseñando eso. Lo que vemos después también es la palabra que la salvación es individual, no es de familia, es individual. So later we see that the salvation is individual, it's not a family thing. So again, that is the reason that the, the owner does not have any reason, even for love, to let go of all of these all of his family. Simply the only one that had to be let go. He was the uh, slave, and he chose not to go. And so that's that. That's all the end of his obligation. Because salvation is individual. You have salvation given to you by God. You take it or you leave it. And he chose to leave it. Out of his compassion, compassion, or whatnot, for the, the woman that was given to him and the children that are product of it. And that's that's real. And and you know what? And it, basically, a lot of people do that. This is not this issue in the human terms is something that many 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 many, 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 many people choose to, do. choose to not accept the the freedom of God, the freedom through Christ Jesus of His salvation, to uh, get entangled in the uh, in the affairs of the world in the love and passions of life. And even in the love and sexual things of this world, many youth face this all the time because they're tantalized by sexuality. Muchos de los jóvenes están tentados muchas veces con esto por el sexo. Están tentados por el sexo, el deseo sexual, y entonces eh, se, se, se meten en esclavitud. Por culpa de él, él, el sexo y entonces los hijos. Y se meten en, en el problema y pueden hasta dejar la salvación porque escogen. Pues se pierde el amor. Liberados por la salvación que le da el Señor, que proveyó el Señor Jesucristo.
Y entonces esto es una enseñanza muy clave y muy esencial para que la gente entienda lo que están haciendo. So that's, you have to be very, very careful because the sexual things are, are, are very carnal reality, but they are symbols, they are teachings that you really need to take to heart. Son enseñanzas muy fuertes que tenemos que tomar en cuenta y tener en cuenta de lo que se está haciendo, lo que, las posibilidades, lo potencial que se puede meter una persona cuando empieza a meterse en estudios de, de sexualismo, la juventud en particular es cuando empiezan las hormonas el juego, las amistades y las cosas desarrollan. Ustedes tienen que entender, tienen que entender las cosas. So begin to have a understanding of it. Haga la cosa bien y saldrá la cosa bien. Haga lo malo y saldrá la cosa. Mira, muy difícil, muy difícil. Sí. La vida es difícil como cuando está haciendo lo bueno. So, you know, the life is hard as it is. You can do all the right things and life is hard. Okay? Now, when you do the wrong things, come on now. It's going to be tough. Really, you're just making it impossible. And and if it was that you were making it, uh, making it impossible for yourself, that would be one thing. Make it impossible for yourself, you're putting a lot more pressure on other people. That's what's going to happen. And you're being inconsiderate. Well, you have to understand that when you do the wrong things, you are causing problems for other people. It's not just you. You're having fun, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But then, not only you pay for it, you're pay for it. And then, also, the, uh, the other people around you. These children are born into slavery. Hello, thank you, Mom. Thank you, Dad. You think so? This is Father's Day. You think that guy goes, hey, thanks, Dad. <laughs> thanks, Dad. You made me a slave for life. That guy goes, hey, what the hell? Thank you, Dad. Hey, it's a Father's Day gift to you. Aquí está. ¿Qué va a regalar este niño, ese padre? Que le, cri, que le crió cementado en la esclavitud. Ahora es esclavo por toda la vida. No podía esperar. Y en el está libre. Entonces, mi hijo, hágame. Hágame entonces con toda furia de libertad. Pues, hágame un muchacho libre. Hágame un niño libre. No. Me tenía que pegar la mujer esa en esclavitud y me hiciste un esclavo por toda la vida. A mí, a mis hijos y a toda esta generación. Being born in slavery. It's all the generations after them. It's not just him. It's all the generations after him. Slaves. Period. You, you've created a slave family. Slave mentality and everything. That's all you did. You know, I, 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 I wasn't expecting to go into Father's Day today, but you know what? It's just God is doing his thing. I'm sorry. Dios está haciendo su cosa. Yo no iba a hablar del Día del Padre hoy, porque dije, yo estoy hablando del Estatuto de Dios, pero fíjese, mira. It's not planned. But God is still talking. Oh, yes. Me puedo ir ahora. Esas son las cosas que Dios hace. Yo no puedo... ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Hay que hacer lo que Dios hace. Lo que Dios pone en mi corazón hablar, eso es lo que voy a decir. Pero esa es la cosa. Los padres tienen que tener, mira, you just have to know what you guys are doing. You please, please, you know, pastor's telling you, tell you don't listen. You don't hear it. You don't hear. Look, hear me now. There's no problem in waiting and doing the right thing. Wait for things, better things. And when I say things, I include people. I include men. Better man and a better woman, for goodness sakes. What is the rush? Really? Get your stuff in order. Get your life in order. You know what happens after that? 
you'll meet people who have their stuff in order too. Because if you do things when you're not in order, the chances are you're going to look for chaos. And that's what you're going to marry. And you're going to have a very, very rough life. And if it was only for you, right? You can care less. You can take it. You're a man. You're a woman, right? But the problem is that your kids. You know what? It's not fair to your kids. No, no es justo a sus hijos que tú los críes en este ambiente y, y que ellos están estoqueados en ese ambiente por toda la Because you, what you start is what will be copied. And listen, I, I meet guys and girls all the time, their children, in foster care. And I see this in them. Their father's the wrong thing, their father's the wrong thing. And they have problems. They got problems. Ellos tienen problemas, estos niños, por culpa de los padres que hicieron lo malo. En todo en esta, eh, en los foster care que hacemos yo y Jenny, eh, vemos estos resultados. Lo estamos viendo. Esto no, esto no es imaginación, esto no es filosofía. Esto es teoría, enseñanza religiosa. No, no, no. Esta es la realidad. Despiértate ya de esa mentalidad de torpecedad que tiene. Esto es la realidad. This is reality. This is not stupidity that you have. You're thinking, oh, this, the past is talking about religiously, philosophy, religion. Uh, some biblical perspective that's not real. This is reality. I deal with it. I see these children. I had a. We went to a uh, a uh, appreciation um, brunch yesterday, and this child that was with us for just a couple of days he comes. He hits his head down. He's depressed. He comes and, me and hugs me, and he's speechless. He doesn't say nothing. These kids are hurting. You hurt them. Tú lo dañaste, este muchacho. Están en dolor. Están tristes, deprimidos. Están enfermos. Porque desea la esclavitud más que la libertad de Dios. Provisto por Dios. Prefieres la esclavitud. Abrir sus hogares, bregar con ellos para que aprendan lo que es lo que estamos haciendo como una raza. So you should be opening your homes to these foster children, to the to the world, the orphan. And to deal with the ravages of humanity, you can see for yourself. And understand God. Entonces puede leer la Biblia, entender a Dios de veras. Está hablando que sabe esto y esto, doctrina y sábado. Y legalidad y ley de Dios. Aprende. Oye lo que Dios dice. <clears throat> the father of none is a father of all. El padre de ninguno es padre de todos. Los desamparados, the abandoned, the abused, el abusado, el maltratado, the mistreated. And only a handful realize what I just said. And can know what I'm talking about. Y solo unos pocos saben lo que yo dije ahora. Somebody has to stop and think. Alguien tiene que pararse y pensar. It takes a man. It takes a father. Esto toma necesita un hombre, un padre. De 
And if the servant shall plainly say, now we go to verse 6, and then his master, he says he wants to stay a slave, and he wants to condemn his family to slavery. Este dice que quiere permanecer un esclavo y está con su familia que está condenado. Tiene que traer el amo, le trae a los jueces. Now the, the, the man goes to the judges. Why does he have to go to the judges? Because this is a serious matter. This is a serious matter. Esto es algo muy serio. Tiene que traer este caso a los jueces para que los jueces aseguren que este caso le dio libertad. Entonces él quiere quedarse esclavo con el con la fe. Esto es permanente. That's a permanent thing. So you guys make sure this, you know, the guy is not crazy. Basically, it's what needs to go on here. Ahora. Aseguro que no está loco. Y entonces, he shall also bring him to the door. Or unto the door post. La Because remember what happened in Egypt. You got to remember. You got to remember what the... Don't you, there's no Alzheimer here, really. It's not a... Uh, Alzheimer is not a divine trait. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. esta idea de la puerta la puerta el portal donde eh, cogieron el holocausto de la pascua this is where they took the, the blood from the that would go over, pass over the house without killing the firstborn. Remember the picture of salvation? Otra vez el escenario de la salvación, el símbolo de la sangre de la oveja y cuando este amo lleva a este esclavo a la puerta and what does he do at the door to this slave see that you have to bring the things together estos son decretos these are judgments also not just that this is law. This is a judgment. We have to remember that. And his master shall bore his ear through with an See, this is where earrings come from. Because the slave used would wear an earring. These are the people. slaves Okay? There were different places they would put it. In the Hebrew, they would have to put in the ear. So that is the origin for the earring. But also any ring that you put into the skin, the piercing the skin, or pretty. 
alguna de las chicas dijo oh, mirándose bien <laughs> vistiéndose bien no it's a, it's a symbol of slavery that's what it's a symbol of. The wedding bandles is a ring, and it's and what does the wedding band signify? The wedding band signifies that we are tied. We are we are in a sense enslaved to one The ring signifies. El anillo significa que no se puede romper esa unidad. So the ring on the slave, but they're not getting married. The, 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 the owner is getting married with the slave. branding of the horses and cattle, right, cows, and things, they would have the sign of the ranch, so you would know who, which ranch this horse belongs to, or which this cow belongs to, same thing, whose ring is that, let me see your ear, who are you, you belong to, so, Taken. Él está ya tomado, él está casado. Tiene el anillo aquí. Ya este es un esclavo. ¿Y el esclavo de quién? Ahí lo dice. Ahí está el Señor, el signo. El mismo signo that they used to use to, to put on letters and to show that the owner ordered this thing. Here's the messenger, here's my letter, and to prove that it, I wrote it, I would have my ring symbol, the seal, placed on So this man is is deciding to stay a slave because, and what is this statute really looking at? What it's saying is that God has freed all men. The Shabbat freed all men. So we see that man chooses not to be free, <laughs> choosing to then be a slave for life. And not only him, but him, his wife, his children, everybody. Que tú estás haciendo lo que hacen los esclavos. O la gente dice, no, oh, ustedes no hacen lo que uno hace, no viven la vida. La vida que usted está viviendo es una vida de esclavitud. Eso es lo que no están entendiendo. Y condena a sus hijos lo mismo. Para siempre. Now, another thing is, what does forever mean? Because you guys have to understand the Bible. I, 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 every time I hear them keep saying things like that, all oh, he says is forever, because they say the Sabbath is forever. But what is this? Usan también para el sábado, ¿sí? de que el sábado es para siempre. Eso no es lo que quiere decir para siempre. Lo que quiere decir para siempre es para toda su vida. Eso es todo, no es eternidad. Para toda su vida.
what it means to have uh, the all in the ear, the earring. But that also goes to what we were talking about before, about what? Remember, the ear. What is the ear used for? Hearken unto me, oídme. See, porque si tú tienes, if you have in the ear, you are a slave. That means that everything you your owner. Usted debe oír a su maestro, a su señor, a su amo. Es por eso, porque tú no has estado oyendo a quién. Because you're not listening to your own. No estás oyendo a quién. No estás oyendo a quién. Dio un rescate, una salida para ti. Because God provided an escape for you. But you chose not to take it. So now you're here. You're here. God's saying also. Who is it? You're listening to men. Te está oyendo a otros hombres. Dios mismo lo está diciendo. Usted no está oyendo a Dios. Está oyendo a otros hombres. shall bring him unto the judges he shall also bring him to the door unto the door post as his master shall bore his ear through with an oar and he shall serve him forever and it says that when a statute that is possibly from it is when abrogated Now, we're not making love uh, right. It doesn't make love the just, uh, a just thing. It doesn't make you right in the eyes of God. It is simply the only true reason that a man will fall into sin. In love, is love is your reason for sin? Or are you just sinning because you don't know any better? You're, you're a child. You either, see, you either are doing this because, like Adam did it, or you're doing it as a child, born into sin, born into slavery. For them, they're normal. They 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 they're just the way they are. So they don't they don't see that they were they are victims. They just think that this is the way we are. This is this is life. Everyone should be the ellos son es, es resultado de una una, una causa de un eh, son eh, afectados por unas cosas mal hechas pero para ellos es normal esto es un normal esto es algo como se entiende You know, they feel like doing X, Y, Z, like any normal person. 
any normal person says I should be allowed to do what I feel I want to do it because I feel like doing it. And these kids also, when I Tú tienes derecho, tú eres un ciudadano de los Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Si tú has nacido en las Naciones Unidas, digo, en los Estados Unidos, entonces tú dices, yo tengo derecho, yo soy americano, pero no hay Pero para ellos, ellos son normal. ¿Sí? Y están haciendo lo que sienten. Y eso se entiende. Pero que no es lo normal. ¿Sí? So, you see, that, that is the, the quantity here. But that's what's being treated. So, it's not a liberalism as opposed to the conservatism it is the two sides of the reality here what uh, some people call normal and, and this is what should be done is what the other people say no that's not normal our is normal and what we what we say and what we say is that we And his and his word, so that we have a basis to establish what is right. Cuando nosotros tenemos, eh, por eso no no nadie puede estar de acuerdo, pero por eso Dios da su estatuto. En vez de buscar manera de acomodarnos, tenemos que chequearnos a través de la escritura. So that's the thing. So yeah, you don't feel like está bien entonces tiene el mismo problema que tienen los niños porque no sienten lo que sienten diferente entonces qué vamos a tener aquí caos o orden That's why most of the liberal-minded people, they don't like the Bible. They refuse to accept the Word of God. And if anything, if they want to fear, if they fear God still, they'll change it to accommodate the believe. verdades que contienen las escrituras porque todo el mundo está tratando de acomodarse en vez de conformarse so everybody's trying to accommodate instead of conforming a lo que quiere decir es esa distancia entre lo que dice en lo que se escucha a lo que se oye to that which is heard That's the thing that's happening there. 
Okay, now we're going to another statute area. And if a man sells his daughter, si un hombre vende su hija, porque las hijas se vendían, to be a maid servant. La mujer y el hombre. Look at this. If she please not her master who have betrothed her to himself, then shall he. So you see that the lady, the girls were always sold. Uh, so it's very clear. It's not telling you about that they didn't like the way they were washing dishes. You didn't like the way they were cleaning the house. This is not the issue here. We're going into the issue of control. wasn't it? In a way you were always giving something and somebody was giving up something when they were giving the daughters away. That When the daughters were being given away or they were either given away or they were sold away the selling of the daughter be fair. How can God be saying that is looking at women as property is right? Because he is. Now everybody's going to go, oh, what? What do you say? Um, Si se daban, el padre lo daba a, a un joven, a otro hombre, no tienen que ser joven ni siquiera, para que se casasen. El padre daba, daba. Y, y, La, la, la palabra está siempre tratando a la mujer como propiedad. Can you answer that? Why is the Bible always looking at women as a property? And made her from Adam. Who did she belong to? Who was her flesh? And and who where were her bones before God made her? They belong to Todo el propósito de esto era oír. The whole point to all of this madness was that you hear God. Hear what is the truth. propiedad Adán y Eva y esa es la respuesta para que entienda que el hombre es uno It's a big 
deal of origination, origin, origin. El, el, el asunto de origin, de la ori, originación, si se puede decir, el origen de la, 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 la cosa. So that you don't have liberals and conservatives. You only have liberals and conservatives because you don't understand the statute of origin. betroth her to himself then shall he let her be redeemed that means that someone else can buy her to sell her unto a strange nation he shall have no power because he because he had dealt with deceitfully with her now this issue has to do with marriage as well And then, uh, having sex out of wedlock. Sin casarse, teniendo sexo, son amigos con beneficio, toda esa porquería que están haciendo ustedes, los jóvenes, los hijos, que tienen lo que Dios está haciendo. You are the one that's getting deceived. No, the guy is not getting deceived here. Don't fool yourself. You're the one that's getting deceived. But you're the one that's getting <laughs> yeah, you're just a rag doll. Don't you get it? Tú no entiendes que tú eres una una muñequita. Entienda las cosas. You girls have to understand. You don't want to hear it. You know, it's just you're so foolish. You're foolish. Because you ignore the statute. Porque está ignorando el estatuto. Tú estás ignorando que Dios hizo la mujer de Adán. Tú tienes un Adán. Y 
santo. Mira qué linda eres. Tú eres preciosa. Ven aquí. Ven. Te abrazo. Mira que esto no es nada. Vamos, vamos a hacer algo. Y I'm hurting. I need you bad. I need you bad. I can't survive. I can't breathe. Don't go. I need help. You are Interesting. I mentioned that, but I won't go deeper into that. <laughs> Even though you want others to do that, but you need to stay close. You need to appreciate the man that really loves you enough to respect you. Because the ones that just want to go to bed with you, they don't respect you. They are deceiving you. With respect, the things for you and for your future family, this this is the man for you. It's not somebody who wants to get you into bed. Porque si no, no tuvieran eso tampoco. Es una decepción. Una decepción. Despiértate. ¿Por qué tú estás gastando tiempo con porquería? ¿Qué cosa? ¿Qué desastre? What a disaster. Deception. Y tú sufres. So this is the thing. You guys need to understand. You are the women, the girls. You need to understand that you're in a dangerous spot. Usted está en un lugar muy Yourself. Give that to yourself. Find yourself worthy enough to do that for yourself. Si tiene la suerte, la dicha, la bendición de Dios. Respetarte y respetar a sus padres y a su familia. 
y no ser engañada por cualquier policía que está en for the kids to do what if you grew if you raise them in a garbage can what do you expect them to play with si usted cría a sus hijos a los en una basura, en una lata de basura, ¿qué crees tú que van a jugar esos niños? ¿Con qué van a jugar? ¿Con qué cosas van a jugar? of the garbage can so that your girls have better things around them and better prospects así que para pasar que la basura para que su hijo tenga no Do you understand it? And now, if you're a child of, of, of that situation, why aren't you waking up? Come on. Yeah, that is your struggle. Your struggle to be free from the To rise above. Tienes una oportunidad de, de subirse, de levantarse. La mujer necesita redención. Santo es el Señor. The statute of that man, because she's she is Israel. Remember, Israel. How do you know someone is from Israel? The mother. ¿Quién, ¿Cómo sabe que uno es hijo de Israel? Por la madre. Por la madre. determines what in a child and so we're going to be getting to that really important question when it happens but right now realize that there's no one born who's born from the father nation basically it's what God's saying you have no right no power to sell Israel off to another nation Israel belongs to me God said 
You don't have the right to give her away. Santo es el Señor. And or to sell her away is the main, the main point of it. I own her. You can't give her to another nation. The statue woman Then it says, and if he has betrothed her unto his son, he shall be And in other words, a daughter-in-law. So you have to deal with her as a daughter-in-law. That's how you are to deal with her. You got her. Uh, you got her as a as a slave. To you, but you gave her to wife. To your son. Not esta mujer es la manera que tú tienes que bregar con ella si lo tienes contigo entonces lo deja pues entonces tú la engañaste si lo deja tu hijo que tu hijo se Dependiendo de cómo tú lo tratas, así determina el asunto. Satchu, the marriage unites woman to man because woman came out of man. Therefore, the marriage to the only son supersedes Toma presidencia sobre el hecho que él lo compró como propiedad. Su, 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 lo que recibe beneficio de casamiento no se disminuirá. So if the, the owner that brought her to take her as his wife, She shall not be diminished in any way as a wife. In any way, because it goes through the list in her food, in her clothing, in her duty of marriage. In other words, what is due to her in the course of being married? What is due to her? Right here. Así que Dios está diciendo, tú no puedes disminuir nada de lo que ella a ella le pertenece.
Because that's when Adam and Eve. It was one flesh. So even though culture and economics There was no child, or, uh, there was no, uh, what do you call that, um, um, what do you call that, payments that they make, uh, child payments, what do you call that, I don't know, anyway. But in the culture, there was no children out of the needed money. See, the, the person that needed money would sell himself even to slave, to be a slave. Let me be a slave for you. I you know I need ten thousand dollars to pay for my land over there, whatever. What he wanted. I got what I want, and he gave me some children here. He says goodbye, and I got more slaves here than I when I started. Great. So it was it was a great deal. under which the statutes and the laws were applied. That's the mistake to make that um, conclusion. He's not supporting the Given the development at the time. Así que el desarrollo humano al tiempo requería este tipo de, de casamiento con más de una mujer. You guys fix what you have to fix according to your abilities as a race, as a society. But the statutes of God is that one man and one Talking about. En el principio de fin estamos hablando de Adán y Eva y no ustedes con su situación económica con la sociedad con la cultura no van a importar. Issues and arrangements. His statutes are to be preserved. And man is still trying to figure it out. Man is going to. Here we see the other part of it. See? Y 
economic thing. But God is here. He's, he's not dealing with those social economic issues per se. He's just telling you these are judgments. He's telling you how to deal with the statute. Which is one man and one woman. You want to como una raza como la sociedad con o en el respeto o en, en el ¿cómo se dice? relativo a los estatutos de Dios Accommodation made to Moses. See? An accommodation due to the what? The social economic issues. But it wasn't the statute of God. It wasn't the statute of God. It wasn't the You know, uh, defend and support this type of thing. Well, I was not defending, supporting none of that. It's simply letting man figure things out for himself. Pero el otro, ¿cómo puede ser un Dios justo y verdadero? Es que, y la, y es que Dios no está promoviendo esas cosas. Dios solo está diciendo, ustedes arreglan sus cosas. Ustedes tienen que aprender de la vida social. esta mujer porque toma otra ¿Sí? y esos son sus problemas quiere tomar otro quiere tomar diez pero ninguna de estas mujeres sufre por el otro y eso es el How to live in society, how to develop his society. So don't don't be applying to God. I know God is making God is making sure that his statutes are followed. mucho que aprender cómo hacer una economía de cómo se de cómo tener aprender la compasión para incluir la compasión en la economía en los socioeconómicos en la política las leyes Man is making a mistake. Oh yeah, God supports this because simply because he's he's reiterating his statute underneath the
in the garden. That's what God promotes. Everything else became because of sin. And it's a mistake to think of anything else that God should or would be promoting. He's not promoting anything else. He's simply reiterating, declaring, manifesting, giving fundamento, su fundación es de estatuto, de preceptos debajo de o y, y, y no importando so, de las decisiones del desarrollo humano en su tiempo pero no tienen que pensar y el momento no teniendo otra posibilidad sencillo this is a very simple thing um, so now number 11 and if he do not do these three 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 and if he do not do or to give her to his son to marry, right? Or to have her redeemed, sell her to someone else. So he had three options to do with this woman. de las tres cosas sería venderla o casarse con ella o entregarla al hijo de él para que se case con ella La mujer no sabe, no quiere casar conmigo, está por ahí andando, de vez en cuando me llama. Entonces, no, 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 no. Y Dios mismo dijo: Mira, uno de estas cosas, y si no, tú vas a hacer nada conmigo no tiene no me Dios. Okay, everybody stay with me. Muchacho, Tati, ¿qué está haciendo, mujer? ¿Qué está haciendo?
they seem to me they put one on my head pusieron una corona estos niños aquí me llamaron padre hoy día me pusieron una corona mi padre el muchacho padre For the children up to him and would have him as king, then he's nothing. You need to walk, say goodbye, and find a king for your child. A king for your Glory to God. Listen, you know, I just can't overemphasize the importance of You know, and the time has gone by. Sorry. Vive por ello lo que Dios está diciendo, lo que Dios está enseñando. Ok, you young people be blessed. dad right now you don't have your dad um, you know they weren't ever being a father doesn't mean you're going to be there forever but it means that when you were there you were there See you guys next week. I'll be and I'm father again at the end of the week. Thursday.